Hello and welcome to WePC. Today I'm going to be unboxing the BenQ Mobius EX2710. I'll read the specs from the side just so we can get a baseline of what is to be expected with this monitor. It does have HDRI, 144Hz refresh rate, 1ms MPRT. It is an IPS panel. It's got 99% sRGB coverage. Uh, it's got full HD, so it is 1080p. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. It looks really like futuristic on the box. It's got a really weird stand and I'm looking forward to seeing what it is like. So I'm gonna waste no further time and take it out of the box. Uh, this isn't a review, just FYI. Uh, it's just the first impressions of what is inside the box. There will be a full review in the coming weeks. I'm gonna test this thing, benchmark it through a range of scenarios. Um, and we'll definitely get that on the channel as soon as we can. So uh, definitely subscribe so you don't miss that one. I'll be honest, there needs to be some sort of different standard for getting these things out of boxes. These are so hard to get out. Okay, so here it is. Um, I hate polystyrene, as I say in every single video. So I'm gonna just, just move that to one side. Okay, so this is similar to every other monitor that we tried. So what you do is essentially turn it around, open it up, and your stand attaches very easily. I'm, I'm really happy that all monitors essentially are starting to take this design where, God, it's polystyrene absolutely everywhere, where essentially you use a locking mechanism to the back of your monitor. So if you just come a little bit closer, you have these kind of like prongs on the stand. And what essentially you do is you push them into the lock, wait for the snap, and that is now locked into place and you're safe to pick up your monitor. Okay, so here comes this weird little Dorito looking thing. Wow, that looks weird. It's plastic. It doesn't feel like uh, like aluminium or anything. It feels quite plasticky, but hey, oh, each their own. Uh, so this, I imagine, is just hooks on. It's got one of those handy screws, so I'll just screw that into place. Yeah, all monitors are starting to somewhat be manufactured the same way in terms of like how you attach the stand and the base. It's very, very easy. Uh, I'm really bad at building things. And if I can do this, it means you can. Spin that until it's in place. And because this is locked into place, it means you are safe to simply pick up. Wow, that is light. Okay, so this stand, man, is very, very weird. Um, so in the box, you do get your uh, power lead. It's just a kettle plug, decent. You also get Oh, that's the case, that's European. This is a UK plug. So this is obviously what we're going to use. I'll just leave that over there. Um, and then you also get the back to your monitor. So essentially where your cables are here, you'll be able to simply attach this <laughs> like so. And essentially what that means is you can plug all of your cables in, you can route them through here and it's just good for cable management. Uh, there you go. Um, so yeah, instantly the first thing they'll say is this thing is light. Like I've been, I'm used to picking up like really, really heavy monitors. This thing is very, very light. It does feel plastic. I'm not gonna lie, but oh wow, look at that. That doesn't have that much wobble. Like it, it does have wobble, but like it stabilizes instantly. I like that. Uh, let's go through the viewing angles and what it can do. So does it go down and up? Yep, it goes all the way down. Oh, I love that. It goes all the way up, forward still, a little bit of backwards still, but not a whole bunch. Does it go vertical? No, no, it doesn't. So you can't have this as your Twitch monitor, unfortunately. Instantly, I'm just noticing. <laughs> it could just be me, but I'm not a fan of this orange here. It looks ugly. It's so strange. There's like no other branding on this monitor except for this little bit of orange. It seems a bit strange, to be honest. But um, yeah, whatever. That's just a design choice that's not for me. Uh, if we look at the back, as you can see, you can see this like mechanism here. This is what controls the stand. It is what it is. Uh, you have got a hole here for your cable management. So like I say, you can feed it through here, through this hole in your monitor, and then you'll just have a whole bunch of cable management options there. Uh, always a welcome feature. Um, no one likes messy cables. And more importantly, and probably the standout feature for me, joystick. Absolutely love a joystick on a monitor. Honestly, trying to navigate your monitor without a joystick is like trying to unravel the mysteries of the world. It's impossible to navigate monitors without joysticks these days. So it does have one of those. I'm buzzing about that. Does this have RGB? I'm gonna check the books. No. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So, I mean, yeah, like, there's not a whole bunch going on for this monitor, um, but like I say, it's, it's just a 1080p 144 hertz monitor. It's gonna be really, really great for competitive gaming. 
Um, and with a monitor like that, you don't need your flashy effects like RGB or we, we recently unboxed a, a Porsche monitor that had a hologram that it projects. You know, you don't need that. You're just here to pop skulls on Call of Duty and that's all you care about. There you go. So yeah, we are going to do a full review on this monitor. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you hit over there, that'll take you to another one of our YouTube videos that I know you will enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.